So hey guys, a little follow on to that test. I uh, wanted to kind of clarify some of the procedures that we, we put in place and explain a couple of things about the test uh, when we weren't involved in it. To start with, basically what this test gun is, is this is a used frame. It's actually an M9A1, which is identical to the Elite frame, but it's one we've used for a lot of testing. This gun's got uh, a ridiculous amount of rounds through it. Um, and we had already, or I had already cracked a frame rail on this gun. So during the drop test, and you guys saw this, uh, one of the side drops, it literally cracked the other frame rail, the opposite one, that, that, uh, and it broke off. That's the reason the gun locked up. Once we took it apart, that fell out. You might have seen that on the video. But we use this frame because uh, for, we didn't want to ruin a thousand dollar frame, if you will, or a thousand dollar gun. And we're part way anyway, because we got a brand new slide that has been milled for the RMR, the plate, uh, the firing pen, the firing pen block, obviously a new barrel, all the right components. Uh, so, and it's got an OP trigger bar in it, by the way, that's an important factor the optimized performance trigger bar, which some people were afraid wouldn't pass prop drop test because of the way it interacts with the firing pen block lever. The trigger components in this gun are trigger job components. So uh, the, the frame and all this stuff, we measured the trigger pull uh, at right at three and a quarter pounds in single action. So the drop press in single action was important and it didn't even fall to half cock. Normally they do, by the way. Normally when you drop a gun uh, with that light of a trigger pull, it's actually gonna drop off the sear and drop to half cock. But uh, the gun held up extremely well, uh, did all the things that we wanted to do and still continues to function at this point. The DA works, the decocker works, the single action works, all of the things work on the gun. And as you saw, we fired the primer at the end, proving that the firing pen is still functioning. You could load this gun and, and go shooting if you needed to. Um, I'm not 100% sure about the point of impact on the RMR, uh, but uh, that would be an interesting thing to say. Now, so the next thing for us to do now is we will disassemble the gun. Obviously, we'll inspect the firing pen and the firing pen block. But it's important to note, this is the first test. I kind of had to put it out all on the table here. Uh, because we had the, the camera equipment and everything we needed today to test it. So we put the gun together with all the right components and then followed good testing protocols, actually pretty extreme testing protocols because six times from six feet on the concrete is more stringent than all of the protocols. So six feet being a military thing on the concrete from five feet is actually an NIJ thing. Um, directly onto the hammer is an NIJ thing and a SAMI test, okay? And that's very important because if you drop the gun in this orientation and it hits the butt of the gun first, any semi-automatic is gonna come out of battery and even if the hammer follows or anything happens, it's still not going to fire, okay? So the gun landing on the hammer is very important from that standpoint, okay? So, a very successful test, super excited about that um, and we'll have to do more testing, uh, but first test out, perfect results. Uh, we'll have to do it again, uh, but pretty happy about that. Okay guys, disassembled the gun to inspect the parts internally to see what kind of damage we had. Uh, super stoked, uh, you can hardly even tell. These were not brand new parts. We had test fired this gun or this top end of this gun quite a bit uh, to make sure everything was functioning correctly. Um, and we, what we have is 17.4 pH parts heat treated and they work so well together that even after the six direct drops on the concrete onto the hammer, we've got no visible damage on the firing pin or the firing pin block. So super stoked. Obviously we got a super stout system uh, that should hold up for many, many years. Guys, super proud of this. Go out there, train hard, stay safe. We'll see you next time. All right guys, to keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. For questions, go to langdontactical.com. And to keep up to date with all the new stuff from Langdon Tactical, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Langdon Tactical.